Alrighty, it's been a little minute, uh, but we're bloody back. And today, to start us off, we're pushing up into a couple little creeks uh, along the coastline. And I'm pretty excited because for the very first time, I get to use these little things right here. This is the new Drunken Mullet Junior, I think they're called. It's basically just a smaller version of the 95mm Drunken Mullet, I think it's 170mm. So we're basically just going to be casting deep up into the structure in the mangroves up here, trying to catch some mangrove jack and maybe barramundi, but just really see what we can catch. Very important thing you need when you fish these little creeks is some insect repellent, some mozzie spray. The um, sand flies or midges are... <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> yes, the sand flies, midges are savage and they'll like basically eat you alive so you need to you need to cover yourself up yeah so with these you can kind of chop them like this which works pretty well but for the most part i'm basically just going to be casting in and just straight winding gives off a little audible noise and obviously that little bubble trail there Well, there's a score of long toms here. I wonder if that chase this. This could be funny. Oh, Jesus, he ate it. <laughs> Couple eagle rays. Fellas. Oh, oh, that's a good jack. How did he, he literally just missed it. Like he didn't even touch it. Surely he just comes back. Ooh, as if he wouldn't come back. What a coward. What's he doing? Oh yeah, he's on it. Look at this guy. Oh, don't eat it. <laughs> that would have been bad. Surely there's a fish hanging on the stick. Surely. Hey. Oh, here comes the jack. Oh. He's right under it. Oh, he followed it all the way out. All right, well, we've come right down to the end of this creek. No fish in the boat, but um, the tide's been dropping out, so I think some fish will, would have moved to the edges by now that the tide's dropped a bit lower. So we're going to fish our way back out this little creek. Ooh, oh, what is that? It just landed and got eaten. It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> it's a little micro jack. Oh! <laughs> I actually got scared by that. Hey, little man. Well, that's what we're after, but not quite the size. Look at him. Cute little guy. I don't think I've ever, like, legitimately been scared by a fish that size. Oh, Jesus! Holy hell, I was zoned out. Holy hell, that was a crazy strike. I think that might have been a cod. Oh, yep, there we go. Yes, nice jack. Not big, but... Yeah! Target species acquired. Now is he gonna calm down for us so I can hold him up for you? Oh nope. There we go. On the uh, little the new little drunken mullet junior. It's a nice little mangrove jack there. That's stunning really. See ya. Thanks mate. Oh, look at that. We fished for like an hour up this creek, no fish. And then in about five minutes, we've had like three strikes, two little jacks, 
tide is so crucial when it comes to mangrove jack fishing in the mangroves. Tide is everything. Oh, no way. I was just chopping it in the smallest, another jack, actual micro. Oh no, it's not as bad as I thought. Definitely smaller than the last one there. <laughs> Little guy. I'll just let him go off the side, so you might. Oh, what the hell? Oh! <laughs> oh, GT. Jeez, I like stuffed up my cast and like skipped it across the surface a little bit. And then two GTs just come out of absolutely nowhere. Oh, oh. That's basically creek number one done. But yeah, not too bad of a start. A couple bites, a couple smaller fish, but hopefully we can get a few more and maybe a few bigger fish. We'll see, we've got plenty of time today. Very shallow getting out of here though. It's only like half a meter of water. Another half an hour and we could have been in a bit of trouble in there, but we're good, we're good. All right, pulling up to creek number two. Ugh. Oh, I didn't mention before, but this definitely would have been the first time you guys have seen this lure on the channel. But they're actually already available in stores and on the Chase Baits website. I know usually when I'm showing off some lures to you guys, it's um, it's months and months wait. But um, these are already ready to go, so you don't have to comment and be mad at me. All right, big fallen tree here. There has to be fish on it. No way there's not. I'm sure there's fish on that a little bit deeper, but um, yeah, I want to keep throwing this for now. We can come, we can come back and fish this after we've gone up the creek and the tide's dropped even more. Probably be a bit better then. Oh, I see a jack around the backside of this tree. At least one, maybe more. Can't see him now because of the glare, but we'll try to get a cast in there in a second. Oh shit! Duh. <laughs> That's the cod. I was just like trying to line my cast up to get in there, but I just had one cheeky one at the mangroves here, and then this guy comes over. Not a bad cod. It's not hooked very well, so he might come off here, but. Oh, yep, come off right there. <laughs> cool though. They always hit top water so hard. Oh, we'll try to see if we can get back into this little zone where those fish were. Hoping we haven't spooked the fish back here. Oh yeah, here comes one. Oh! Oh no, he knocked it out of the water and didn't hook up. Let's see if he comes back. Yep! Oh, another one! No! Damn! The first one that hit was good. He hit it twice. No hook up. That's tough. Yeah, they wise up pretty quick. Oh, jeez. <laughs> a little cod, I think that was. All right, well, this is basically the end of the road here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to mouth this little creek, fish that um, fallen tree. But if no luck there, we're just gonna scoot uh, along the coast to the next creek. 
before it gets too low in here and we get stuck. Just saw something had a go at something on this stick, so surely something will come out and hit this. Let's do a scary one over the top to start. Yeah, jack right on it. Oh, it just flashed on it. It's decent jack in there. That would have been... No. Don't tell me this got snagged. Perfect, Bolly. Good casting. He would have eaten it if he was real keen, so... Not too worried. Keep it moving. On to the next one. Oh, I can tell it's pretty windy out the front here, so it might be a bit of a <laughs> bit of a bumpy ride, but you gotta do what you gotta do to catch a couple of fish. Alright, creek number three. Still got this same um, same little little tide on. Still gonna continue doing the same thing and see what's happening in this creek like we've been doing all morning just casting into the mangroves and bringing it back out all you really need to do i see a couple of fish here yeah mostly broom there might be a jack with them though oh oh yep little jack <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said, mostly brim, but there might be a jack with him. <laughs> he like got scared, I think, initially, and then just come back and hit it. Oh, he's got like heaps of speckles on him. Like, look, I've never seen a jack like that. That's really weird. He's got all these speckles all over him. Whoa! Well, the fish we've caught today haven't been giant by any means, but still, catching fish on top water up the creeks, still super fun. Especially when you don't have a lot of a lot of options on a windy day like today. Still good to rock and roll. That's a good little tip for you is fishing in these creeks in North Queensland. If you see a school of brim, quite often there's a jack or two hanging with them, sitting under them or in the school. So it's always worth a cast into a school of um, pikey brim if you see them, because exactly that can happen. Oh, I see a jack. No. Here he comes. Oh, oh, he had it. He just ate it so soft. Sometimes I see barra on the sand. Oh my god. What the f oh, I just stuffed up bad. Oh. It's fish fully in here, man. I could have been casting then. Oh. Barra just in there. It's literally a barra in there somewhere. It's too busy distracted on the sounder. Over the years I've seen barra parked up in this stretch here so I was just looking at it and I did see a few barra on the sounder and one was just in this drain feeding. Yeah there's definitely a few a few barra on the sounder there so what I might do because the tide's still running out I'll just turn us around we'll go back down current and they'll cast back up current over this fish here yeah, you can see them all here you know look at them coming through on the sounder here. Uh, I'm just going to change lures because they're obviously they're down a bit in the water columns so not going to throw top water if they're not going to eat a top water. I saw they were eating little jelly prawns and stuff, so we might throw small prawn imitation. This little gold one, maybe. Try this. Hopefully, we haven't disturbed them too much. We can still get them to bite. This is only a meter and a half deep, so. Yep. Oh, popped off. What the hell was that? I don't think that was a barra.
What the hell? I was wondering why it kept swimming towards me. Oh! <laughs> that was weird. I'm pretty sure that was a giant herring. What the hell is going on here? How has he done that? That's unreal. Just gonna try this little um, curly prawn on a 1 8 ounce jig edge, just something super light. A little finesse to see if we can just convince one of these fish to eat. Yep. Right here. Oh, it's a jack, man. What? Off the bottom? A little jack off the bottom. Pretty guy. Scuff that in there. Whoa! It's not a barrel, but we'll take it. Thanks, mate. Alright, well that's, that's definitely something. Not what I was expecting, catch off the bottom in the middle of the creek, but hey, we'll take it. We'll have a few more casts, why not? Why not? Kid you not, camera on my head just died in the middle of that cast. I wound up, pulled my lure out of the water and there was a barra following it. <sighs> ah, just, they're just gonna make me stay here for another half an hour, aren't they? Come on, just eat me lure. What is this? Oh, it's a sand bass. <laughs> what the hell? It actually kind of hit hard, man. Thought it was going to be something decent. Ow! Oh. They're quite weird looking creatures, the old sand bass. I've been trying to have one last cast for like 20 minutes now. Surely this will be the last one. Okay, very last cast, I swear. I swear, last cast no matter what happens. Oh my gosh, that was supposed to be my last cast. All right, well we peppered this zone pretty hard. Gave it a red hot crack, but it's time to get bloody out of here.